Hey there everybody, this is NDM here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Mother 1, this is part 19. In the last episode we did the monkey cave and beat the R7037 and found an easter egg. In this episode we are going to be heading over to our next town. Now, apparently you can get to this town from any access point from the bottom of the desert, so I recommend, you know, well it doesn't really matter, there's no recommendation, just go down to the bottom of the desert. Um, and here's our first battle of the video, Ultra Barbot and Energy Robot. Guess what, guys? I'm gonna fight it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna run away like a little pussy. Oh my god, let's run away before I die. Quick, go. Yes, run like the wind, bullseye. Um, right, so yeah, I think it's down here. You have to go. There's like a huge opening in the trees. And here's a Nancy, so... I'm actually gonna fight it this time. PK Beam is actually much more effective than PK Freeze. Because, like in, you know, Earthbound and that, like, P PSI Freeze was always the better option over the other PSI techniques that um, Paula, Paula had learned. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to keep on attacking and have Hannah just keep on using PK uh, Beam Beta. Wow, Danny only does 1 damage as well. And that's a smash attack, which did 51 damage. Wow, you are so kind. Well, guess what? You just got to taste your own medicine. I did 97 damage, so that's um, 10 times better than what damage she just inflicted on um, Hannah. So. Yeah, but the next town, there is a hotel I think we can stay at. And a department store as well, where we can buy some better weapons for people. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually the right way, but I'm pretty sure it is. Now, that was easy. <laughs> Managed to get smash attack and kill it in one hit. That's not bad. Because apparently I'm still in the desert. It's still playing the desert music. And a titany. Great. Wonderful. Um, I'm almost tempted just to run away from these, so I am going to. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, we'll have to start cutting out battles sooner or later. Yeah, we are in the right area. Okay, so when you come to like this weeded-like area, with all these pine trees... Um, we're supposed to be going on the train... the... yeah. The train track. So, just follow the train track, um, down to this building here. And we can go inside, I guess, and see what's going on. Uh, probably absolutely nothing because there's no one in here. The trains have stopped. The track was ruined. It's the end of the world and you just ask questions. Stop asking so many questions or I'll start to cry. Dude, there are much more bigger problems in the world than a broken down train track. Um, <laughs> like enemies taking over the world perhaps? You know, there's like all sorts of bizarre things going on in this world. Alright, so let's talk to the person who's in front of the gate here. Halt, who goes there? Boo-hoo! Oh wow, you scared me. Hmm. And yeah, this... Just to point this out, that this music is Paula's theme in um, Earthbound. I would not have guessed that if I didn't look up um, the Youngtown OST soundtrack on YouTube and read the comments section, because on the comments section it said that Youngtown's theme in Mother 1 was the theme for Paula in Mother 2 when you're inside the cabin and she's been captured in Happy Happy Village. Pl please bring back our mum and dad, please, I beg you. Oh, this is actually quite a sad town. Sounds, sounds like everyone's parents have been abducted. Well, hence why all the kids are out and there are no adults around here. And there's a Signpost that says Jack. Well, two plus three equals five. Eight minus four equals four. I'm studying. All, I study all the time. Uh, that's very interesting. Thank you. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the heads up, dude. Like that information was so much more helpful. <laughs> okay, so let's go in here. I believe that this is the equivalent to the department store. Uh, how much money do we have on us? Nine hundred seventy-six. I don't know if that's enough. 
to buy the weapons that are required to pick up from here. But we have plenty of money in the in the cash machine, so that 1,000, no, 12,260. Spend your money wisely. Well, the next level requires uh, 1,262 for Danny, 1,173 for Johnny, 440 for Hannah. By the way, do you want to save? Yes, I do. Okay, but I was thinking of going to sleep now. I've saved your progress so far. Good night, continue. Just like your mum, you never want to stop. Please don't push yourself so hard, slam. Mm, okay. Uh, I'm going to see how much things are in this place. Welcome, what can I sell you? Uh, well, we can definitely buy the non-stick pan. So I'm going to definitely buy that. And that will go straight to Hannah's inventory anyway, I think. Um, no, I do not. So I can easily just sell... No, I don't think you can sell things here. It's just like a place where you can buy stuff. Not a place where you can sell. So I'm going to give this to Hannah. So then she can go ahead and equip it. Which should definitely get increase her offense by quite a bit. Yeah, offense 28. That's not too bad. It's obviously a big improvement over them over the original frying pan that she had. Okay, so now we're going to extract money from the ATM machine so we can buy um, Johnny's next uh, attack item. So we're going to use. And I don't know how much money I would like to withdraw, so I'm just going to withdraw 2,000 because nothing costs 2,000 in this game, as far as I'm aware. Um, 1,400. So we'll give that to Johnny, and that'll go that'll go straight to his inventory. Because there is still some space left in there, apparently. <laughs> okay, so we can use that. Johnny equipped the air gun. Nice. So we'll just go ahead and drop... Uh, well, she can drop the frying pan, because we can't really sell it. And then Johnny can drop the stun gun. But I imagine those items would have cost a lot of money if you sold them. Which is a shame, really. Because we have to miss out on that. Well, Dad isn't home, and I don't care about money, so if you need a place to stay, feel free to stay here tonight. Uh, yeah, I actually do want to stay. Sleep tight, and don't let the bedbugs bite. Don't let the worms bite your anus. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so, is there anything in these rooms? No, there's nothing. Okay. So we pretty much cleared out these two buildings here. Uh, there's still plenty more left of town to explore, so... Yeah, this town is very crowded with trees and stuff. It's very claustrophobic. So you kind of have to f know which way to navigate around. Like this building right here, I want to see what all this is about, but it's got a square door, so I doubt I'll be able to go in it anyway. But we might as well talk all to the talk talk to all of the villagers. Get a good sense of what's going on here. Something's very strange with the Garrickson baby. Something very strange indeed. Hmm. What do you mean by strange? <laughs> Why does he behold some kind of mystical power that you guys don't know about? I like it without the grown-ups around. Sure I do. Sob sob. Ah. Uh, Dude, you're just lying. Don't lie to yourself like that. I mean, if you're actually feeling emotional, you should let those emotions out, not keep them in. And try and put on a fake smile. A big ship from the sky took Mum and Dad away. What was it Bowser's airship fleet from Mario Galaxy? <laughs> well, it couldn't have been, because Mario Galaxy was released in 2007, and this game was released in 1989. Which was like... A long time before Mario Galaxy came out, I can assure you that. Dude, can you stay still? I want to talk to you. I heard my dad's voice coming from the mountains, but the mountains are beyond the town of LA. It's so far away, I can't make that journey. Then what are you going to do? Buy yourself a bicycle? Buy a skateboard? <laughs> Some kind of form of transportation? Where is my mummy? Where is my daddy? They have been abducted by aliens, apparently. According to everyone else, that this flying UFO ship has taken over and kidnapped all your parents. Mum told me this baby was has mystic power. 
has a mystic power. Oh yes, my name is Tom Garrickson. I'd like to introduce myself. It's my hobby. Well, you must have a very good social life then, if you if that was your hobby. <laughs> Googa! Alright, so what you're supposed to do with this baby is actually quite kind of um, well hidden, actually. What you have to do, you have to use telepathy, and you have to know to use telepathy on it. Yes, even though my body is that of a baby, I like you. I possess psychic abilities. I know the power of teleportation. Use this power to return to a place you've been to. The baby taught them his power of telepathy. Or, not telepathy, teleportation. So now, basically it works like the same in Mother 2 Earthbound on the Super Nintendo. You just use uh, teleportation, or teleport, as it's called. And I, um, I think Hannah also knows it as well. You can teleport to previous towns you've already been to, where, like, you know, my home, Marysville, Spookane, Youngtown, Podunk, Reindeer, Snowman, yeah, you get the gist. Um, I guess I could show you me teleporting. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I just crashed into a girl. That's not gonna... Well, you can't really teleport around here because there's not really that many good places to run around in. We could try it here out in this open space. Uh, this looks quite promising, so we're gonna... Okay, no it doesn't. Apparently you can't turn around like you did in Earthbound. You have to go in like a straight line. So, that's not gonna work. Okay. Well, I guess if you're in like a city or something that has a really long straight path, you could teleport there, but there really is no such place around here because the pine trees are like crowding the place up. Oh, right, the music's just... Ch hey, look, music change. Music change. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have the power to change music, bruh. Suspicious guys, I will stop you. Arr! You're going to stop me with your constipation? Ha, huh, I don't think so. Alright, so now we're off into the Grizzly Swamp, apparently, where we will find Shrek the Ogre, and he will butt-rape us into oblivion. Ultra Barbot draws near, along with an energy robot, which I am not going to fight, so I'm just going to run away. Because apparently the energy robot is a very nasty enemy, and I am not willing to fight nasty enemies, <laughs> so I'm just going to avoid the situation as best I can. I'm having a blast here, guys. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use Life Up Beta on Hannah. I don't know why I did that, because she only needed 16 HP to recover. I think we have to keep heading up, I believe. Oh no, this place is like a maze as well. And there are a lot of enemies, which I should be cutting out, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. Okay, so, yeah, I think I'm heading in the right direction here. There should be a house somewhere around here. Um, if I remember. Well, from what I watched on the video, anyway. Ultra Barbot. Yeah, I might as well keep this in. Uh, it's only one enemy. It's not like it's a whole bombardment of UFOs. Oh, no, dude. Oh, Franklin Badge, yes, thank you. I don't care if it has no effect on it, as long as I didn't die. That's all that matters. But if that was to hit Hannah, she would be dead. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. It's just one hit KO, screw, you're basically screwed. Ah, oh, great, and Nancy, yeah, I'm cutting this. Okay, guys, I am back once again. All right. We should be near the house, I hope. Huh. That's if I am going in the right direction. Yes, I am, okay. And this will be our stopping point in, of the episode once we go inside and see what's... In, or who is inside this house. Right, so let's check the dustbin. Okay, we got a question mark, so let's talk to it. I'm Johnny's father. I think Danny's dad asked, but you told him your name. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, that's fine. Please look after Johnny. He is... He is a real weakling. <laughs> okay, dude. You insulting your son? Oh, such fatherly... Um, fa comfortingness from your father there, Johnny. <laughs> Very motiv- very much motivate- no, much motivation indeed. <laughs> it's me, Pippi. We meet once more, Danny. Don't eat- don't say anything, but I didn't tell my mum I came here. You must be tired. Why don't you stay for the night, I think she said. Uh, whatever. But you can use this as like a stop-off point. So what I'm gonna do 
is because enemies in this area are going to be quite tough, especially later on in this area. You're going to start getting seagulls and stuff, and apparently they're really powerful. Yeah, I know, right? Seagulls? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to do some grinding off screen to get my levels up a bit. Especially Hannah, because she needs to definitely get her levels up. And uh, Johnny, preferably, but... Danny might also need to too. So I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on next video. So in the next episode of Let's Play Mother 1, we shall take on the swamp. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, body. See you in the next video. And goodbye.